Actually, not everyone. This is a very special episode, isn't it? This is an episode for the kids. Oh, wait, not kids. No, 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 no. Young homies, young adults, young furtherers of the world. This episode is for you and only you. And parents, are you in the room? Are you in the room, parents? Turn away! Kill Go ahead and tell them turn away. Oh, turn away! If you were an adult over the age, hmm, what should we just like deem this show for? Uh, 1400, 1200, 10, under, 8, under? You can talk, man. You can answer the oh, question. Oh, Glenn, forget Glenn can talk. <laughs> Silly Glenn. Glenn can talk, kids! Um, I'm saying this is for eight and under. Kid, All right. Kids meal age. Exactly. If you can still rock the McDonald's meal, this is for you. Um, nine, we don't want you watching this, okay? Cut. If you're nine, out of here. Okay? Okay. I'm feeling pretty good about this so far. Um, you know, we just had a beautiful intro song. That played um, with one Chelsea Gratz of Forever Dead. And I thought uh, for you eight and under year olds, um, it'd be very ample, especially if you're a female in music. There's, you know, it's, it's very hard being a young girl and getting the confidence to be a front and center rocker, you know? So I got some of my favorite, favorite female rockers to give us some advice. Check it out. Hello, hello out there. I am Nancy Freeborn. I'm here to answer some questions that have been given to me about women in rock. The first question that I got is, how old were you when you first started a band? Uh, if you consider my friend and I making up songs and fully choreographed dances when we were eight years old, a band, then I would say eight years old. So I was 13 years old when I wanted to be in a band. I had just received uh, Fender Squire bass and rumble amp for Christmas, which was super awesome. Um, and once I started practicing in the couple months afterwards, I really wanted to play in a band. Um, I think I was probably around the age of 11 or 12 when they first decided I want to start a band. <laughs> um, it was probably when I see No Doubt, uh, Just a Girl, like, that that did it for me. I wanna be in a band that looks like so much fun. <laughs> Number two, advice you would give to young female rockers looking to be in a band. This is a wicked question. So I would recommend, you know, talking to your friends, um, talking to local musicians in your area, seeing what people like to play, um, definitely knowing what you want to play is important and having those discussions with people to start jamming or if people are looking for band members, that's another way that you can go. Um, but yeah, definitely get yourself out there, ask those questions, um, start making connections and um, yeah, that's really the way to get yourself out there and start practicing with other people. I guess I'd have to say make sure that you find people who are just as dedicated as you are in making music and starting a band. Um, it's a lot of work. Being in a band is a lot of fun and it's cool, but it is a lot of work and you have to put in that work and you need people who are going to be willing to put in that work. Uh, with you so make sure you find people that you can work with and vibe with um, and just do it go for it that's all I can really say I mean as long as your heart's in it and you find people that you can write music that you're happy with and want to perform and and, and put in all that hard work, then there you go. The best practical advice that I can give is if you're not lucky enough to just join a band or start a full band yourself, just start small. If you're a singer 
uh, or if you play an instrument, find one other person to compliment what you do. So if you're a guitar player, go find a vocalist. If you're a bass player, find a guitar player. From there, you can start jamming, writing, learning songs, maybe even playing gigs. And in the meantime, while you're doing that, you can start to keep an eye out for other musicians who may want to join you and form a full band. What is your favorite thing about playing live? I'd have to say my favorite thing about playing live is the release. Um, I'm an incredibly anxious person. Um, and when I'm playing, performing for um, people, that goes away. I'm like this whole other person. Um, like maybe my true self being released through music. And uh, I think that's probably my favorite thing. Like nothing matters. Any anger, fear, um, anything. I just let it go through my energy and I absorb everyone else's energy when I'm performing and it's such a it's such a cool feeling really I know it sounds crazy but um, I think a lot of musicians feel that way when they're performing um, it's just such a release and almost healing I miss playing shows so much and I and I, I can't wait to get back on stage <sighs> it'll be great my favorite thing about performing live is that I get to bring the energy to the stage of whatever I'm feeling. So I could be having a crappy day, I could be having an awesome day, and I just get to let it all out whichever way that I please. Um, I think it's really amazing. I've had shows where you really feed off the crowd and it's just an incredible performance and I enjoy it so much. Um, but yeah, no performance is the same and just getting to express myself in a way that I normally don't get to do every day is what I love about performing live. For me, when I'm on stage, I have no insecurities. The only thing I'm thinking about at that moment is the performance. So I'm not thinking about if my hair is messy or the dumb thing I said the other day or anything like that. I'm in a room full of people sharing music, sharing an experience, and that's that's all that's, that's up there, and I love that. Uh, so that's it for me, thank you so much. And remember the last bit of advice that I can give uh, when it comes to music is to play with musicians that are better than you, any chance you get. You get better by learning from the best. Bye-bye. Wasn't that informative? Um, so if you're a young lady, Follow their advice and get out there and make some music with your friends because it is a glorious, glorious thing. I'm actually interested. Did, when you were a little caveman boy, did you make music? Uh, we have rocks. Rocks. Bang, bang, bang. Not bones of your, like, like your... Hmm. Oh, no. Are you... Okay, I'm so sorry. This is very insensitive. Insensitive? I said that wrong. But it's very insensitive to me. Mm. Because Clay, Caveman Clay is... That looks like his girlfriends. And we don't want that. So what do we do when our friends are sad, everybody? We... I'm going to steal this from Sesame Street. We cheer them up! So I can do the best thing that I ever could do for you. Mm. I'm not going to sing you a song. Mm. Isn't that a genius idea? Because if I were to say you a song, I think I'd just make you more sad. We, think, ooh, we can throw back. This is how much Glenn does not like my singing. We will, we will rock. <laughs> so that was very insensitive to me. Um, I'm not singing you a song. You're welcome. Yeah, all right. I think we should just get this show a uh, moving um, with oh, 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 your favorite roommate. Uh oh, Miss is Sarah. Oh, oh. No, 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 no. Sarah's no, gonna no, come no. on and do an autograph. It's Sarah time. <laughs> you might want to get over that seat, dude. Uh -huh. That's not your seat when she's on. How's it going, silly goose? Hey, friends. Got some arts and crafts for us. We're gonna be friends today, Glenn, because it's for the kids. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I got Glenn, some stuff for you to do. Glenn is scared.
care of Sarah for some reason. We haven't figured out why you ate on your year olds. Eight and hundred. It sounded like eight hundred year olds. That's your grandpa. Glenn not allowed to talk. Why scared of Sarah? Oh, Sarah, what you do? You do um, sometimes I could be a little bit harsh with Glenn because he's really not great at tidying up. So Glenn's still scared of Sarah. Sarah. Yeah. Stop being so scary. We're we're making amends because I made you something. Ooh, what is it? It's our craft for today. What is it? What is it? What is it? It's shaving cream marbling. I made it. Oh my god, this perfect! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! It's perfect because guess what? what? The letter of the day is G. G. But not for Glenn. It's for Aaron G because that's way cooler. Steal the spotlight. It's what you're good at. Aw, friend. Don't choke him! Don't ah. choke him! <laughs> She's gonna choke you. Still scared. Well, uh, let's but make a craft helps. together. Yeah. Ooh, okay, let's Maybe let's make crafts. Uh, what do we do with this? That, clearly, because what's a craft without a mess? Hope the baby doesn't wake up. Don't, don't eat it. Don't eat it. It's not no, food. No. Kids, don't eat shaving cream. You could do this also with whipping cream, but um, You know, it's actually cool, um, because Sarah wrote a song. About not eating shaving cream. And here, this is how it goes. Don't eat shaving cream unless you want to die. Don't eat shaving cream because that song's making me cry. <laughs> That's how it goes, remember? You're welcome. Why are you cleaning now? We, uh... Well, just... So anyway, we're going to move this out of the way. This is your tray. This is my tray. Uh, okay. Uh, All right. Get some tape. We'll put it on so your So I don't shirt. get a tray. No, you don't. What am I here? Just host. here for good looks and go positive and nature. Same. That's a lot of shaving cream. It's it's a fair amount, right on your tray there. Yeah, and then you can smooth it out after if you want. Not that necessary though, but it's kind of fun. But if you want. But if you. Oh, want, that's beautiful, Glenn. You. you want this? Thanks. Top up. Perfect. <laughs> So this is going to be our canvas. If you can go ahead and stop. It's floofy. I'm going to take that. Thanks. <laughs> it's floofy. <laughs> Not your equipment. It's all it's over. No, it's all over my stuff. It's on Wonderful. mine. I'm oh. so glad I'm here today, guys. Yay. Messes. So you guys can... Not touch this because this will stain everything. Okay, so I want, promise. You I want won't. an adult to help you with this part. And there is none here. There not watching either. One yeah. adult. There, there is here. no adults watching. <laughs> Perfect. You're good. It's That's not good. yet. <laughs> Ew, it moisturizes. Mm -hmm. Does it? Not particularly. Smell good. <laughs> smell like grandma. Mm, does smell like That's grandma. I wonder if that cave people would smell like shaving cream. Um, but where do you think Adopted shaving? grandma. Oh, yeah. got it. <laughs> she is old. Look at her. Look how she dresses. Look at it. Don't, Look at it. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> well. All right. Anyway, next step is. We're going to have to wash color. my stuff before <laughs> our next uh, segment. Right. I'll do Bluetooth. And you just go ham <laughs> wherever you like. Did not work. Try this one. Hi. Can you oh, help yeah, me? It's got a it's got a lid. Can you help me clean my hands, please? It's okay to ask for help every now and then, yeah. children. Some kids are really big. Some kids, Some kids are, are really big. Years old. My wife there just called me fat. <laughs> she just called me fat. There's there's nothing wrong with being fat. I don't know why you're crying. Cause you called me it. Don't don't be shameful about your body. Okay, thank you. Sarah. <laughs> Artwork and dispensing knowledge. It takes Double threat. all sorts. <laughs> I think I look beautiful today. All right. Do you want yellow or are you good? Uh, with... I'm good. Okay. I'm good. Red, white, blue. Wonderful. Here's a stirring stick. You're going to marble the colors now. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to get it too crazy. I mean, you could do whatever you uh, like, really. Can we get it a little crazy, though? Just mix it all about. Glenn's looks beautiful. That's Glenn, a, show that's yours to the camera. Great colors. Oh, man. I love it. If you if you mix for too long, it then all what? just becomes a muddy puddle. A muddy puddle. A muddy puddle. Oh, didn't you write a song about a muddy puddle? She get a muddy too? puddle. She. Do you remember that song that you wrote about the muddy puddle? Here's how it goes. It's actually a uh, Peppa Pig song. Okay, we'll sing it then, please. 
jumping up and down in muddy puddles. And then they jump in puddles. Oh, yeah. it's not their best work. Mm, I didn't write it. So it's cream could, everywhere. <laughs> could be creative and do a design on the paper with masking tape like we did with the G, or we could just keep it simple and take the paper, press it in. Press it in, press oh, it right. in. Just like this. Just nice and gentle but firm. Aww. Aww. Gentle but firm. There's a lot of jokes <laughs> I would like to make, but I'm not going to. Because it's a kid's show. show. You know what? But your parents who aren't paying attention, you should ask what that means later. Not and our then problem. You just pull it up, and you've got some. Oh fingers. my gosh! It's Fancy. So oh wow! Great job. And you could wipe it with this if you like. Don't wipe it. I think it's perfect. It'll stay that way. It just gets the excess off. You yeah, know how you were talking about my body being abnormally huge Whoa. before? And this is just like that. It's perfect just the way it is. Just sure. the way it so, is. So, um, I'm going to clean up my clothes. I'm going to clean up this set. Oh, hey, this is a cool thing. Um, our friends Bob and Nestor are going to show you this cool thing that their puppy, Borschlock, can do. Isn't that Borschlock. cool? Borschlock! Borschlock! Arr All right, buddy, here you go. Check them out. Hi, Baba. Hi, Nestor. And this is potato hunting with Borschla. Uh, hello. Yeah, you know, uh, it's Baba. Uh, yeah, Baba going to teach you, tell you a little bit, of all you young children out there, a little bit about the potato hunting. So, uh, Baba, uh, you know, Baba read uh, in the books about uh, the piggies, little piggy snort, snort, you know, they find truffles. Truffle yes, yes. So today, children, we teach you how Poppy can find potato. Potato pug. I think he found one. I think he found one. I think he found one. I oh, think I think you're one. right. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's oh, he's good. good. Yay. Oh, good dog. Good that's boy. Good, good one. boy. Good boy. Get three. Yes. Oh, look. He found another one. Help him, Nestor. Oh, good dog. You find another one. Oh, good, oh, good, good boy, good boy. That's good potato. More slugs. Good potato dog. Look at this. Look at this. We got a big haul today. There's one potato, two potato, three potato. I think there's more. Oh! Marsha, you good, you good potato hunting dog. Look at this. Look at our hog. Good dog. Well, children, I hope you learned something today. If you have dog like Marsha, you too can also find many potato. So as you can tell, Sarah's a big old scary. Uh, and Glenn is very scared of Sarah. I'm not. Okay? I'm not scared of Sarah. All right? And you don't need to be either, you eight-year-olds and under. Um, she's not that scary. She's not that scary. Um, so, hey, that was Baba and Nestor. Um, and they showed you how to hunt for potatoes with your puppies. So if you have puppies at home, um, go outside and you can teach them how to find potatoes just like that. Um, oh, another big... Uh, <clears throat> oh, you again? Uh, Come on. Yeah, me again. What are you doing here? Whoa, 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 whoa. Actually, before you, you go any forward, like, I just want you to know this is an episode for children. Okay? Eight yards and under. Okay? Uh, okay, this yeah. is a candy stick I have in my mouth. Okay, well, yeah, and also, like, the words that you say sometimes, like, I, like, I know I'm a very hip, big hypocrite there in, in this, but, like, no swearing. Okay? Yeah, okay, we got it. No swearing. Uh, so, so what are you doing here today? Uh, I'm just hanging out, enjoying the scenery. This is Carl the Sock, children. Hi, everyone. Uh, and like you said, that's a lollipop. Uh, oh, no, Popeye. The Popeye candy is. sticks. Oh, they're so good. Um, I suggest that, oh, uh, later on in the show, um, Don Insall is going to come on, and he's going to show you where your parents hide that stuff. So uh, you're on here for a very important reason, maybe? Uh, you know, just just to talk to the kids. Have some real talk with them. Who I like real talk. Real talk's important. As uh, as much as it's a comedy show all the time, and everything's a big joke for you, mm -hmm. there, there's serious stuff going on. There's a lot of negativity out there. 
and we just want to talk to the kids for a moment. Tell them it's okay to be afraid. It's okay to be scared. There's a lot of good happening in the world right now, though, too. Your parents, your family, and your friends love you, and that's really important. And you need to remember that. And whoa. we care about you, too. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who's this guy? Who's this guy? This is a Carl back from space. Oh, he's good Carl now. We're good Carl. Because uh, he was a very, very naughty Carl. Before. I helped a lot of people. And I felt really good about it. Okay. I want to say I turned over a new leaf. But uh, I don't want to go that far. So we're taking in baby steps. Get wow. It? Steps, steps. Because I'm a sock. Yeah, yeah. Yours would be baby steps, wouldn't they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's good. Well, yeah, I actually agree with you. There is there's a lot of negativity happening in the world, and you know those around you uh, can uplift you and help you and move things forward. Um, because you know what, uh, the one thing that we do love around this show is putting smiles on your faces. So um, if we can do that, and I'm very proud. I'm very proud of you. I'm very proud of you. This episode. Thank you. Wow. Now get out of here. Okay. Goodbye, everyone. Don't say goodbye to him. Don't say goodbye to him. You can say goodbye if you want. Wow, well, that was awesome. Okay, um, hey, wow, Carl, you know, growing up, I like it, you eight-year-olds and under. Is your parents still watching? Turn away, parents! Um, oh, hey, this is great. Um, our musical guest um, has a few words for you today. His name's Cameron Hawkins. Uh, this is Cameron. Hey, kids and Aaron. My name is Cameron Hopkins, and I'm a musician. I play a lot of different instruments, but the very first one that I started music with was the electric guitar. And I learned the electric guitar when I was only in grade five, I started. And I picked that instrument because I really liked rock music back then. I liked bands like ACDC and Metallica and Guns N' Roses and the Ramones. These are all bands I really liked a lot. Maybe you've heard of some of them. And just because of that type of music, they use the electric guitar a lot, so I wanted to learn how to sound like that. Um, I had done other activities as a kid, like swimming, taekwondo, uh, soccer, but I wasn't the most competitive and nothing really stuck with me. So music is something that has stuck with me since, and I've felt passion for it ever since grade five when I first learned how to play the guitar. Um, as far as what music means to me, I say that music is very calming. It brings me to a place where I can forget about all the other things going on in life that bug me and I can just focus and zone in on that music and be at peace. Yeah. Music is amazing and I think you should learn an instrument too if you're thinking about it. Bye!
Let's get lost in time Marching on and on Simple pleasures Someday we'll be gone Beautiful dust The winds will carry you home Thanks for watching. That was Cameron Hawkins. Didn't that rule? He is a beautiful, beautiful man, and I told him that to his face, and I gave him a big cheek kiss and a hug. Because you know what? It's okay to be affectionate and show your emotions. So, you know your parents that aren't allowed to watch the show? Are your parents still watching the show? Glenn, tell them to turn away. Turn off! Turn away, parents! This isn't for you! We said this. Actually, if you have a, s a sister brother that's older than eight, they're not allowed to watch this either, right? Mm -mm. Eight years and younger, that's just for them. Boom, 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 boom. Ooh, hey, let's move on. Uh, oh, we have something special for you. Who likes science? I. He I it. science. I science experiment. Oh, he is. Everybody, let's give it up for our friend of the show, Miss Science Experiment Caster of the World, Megan Getter! Boom! Hi, Megan. Okay. Oh, I was so she is going to lead us in a science experiment today, and I have a very important question for you. No! Safety first. Is this going to be good? for our fans that are eight years and under. I think so. These are things you can do with stuff that you have in your kitchen. I have two science experiments. One's really short, really fun. Like um, Maddie B. <laughs> yeah. You don't get that joke, but it's okay. Um, ask your brother or sister that's nine years and up, not your parents. They're still not allowed to talk to you. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay, so one is short and fun, like Maddie B, and one is a little messy, but it's stuff that you can do with stuff that you would have in your kitchen. So mm. I was going to say, I thought those would be more descriptors, and it was like, <laughs> a little messy. Oh, that's kind of like me. Yes, just mm. a little messy. Perfect. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, <laughs> let's do this, Megan. What are we doing? Okay. The first one is a cloud in a bottle. I don't believe it. I'm going to make a cloud in here. There could never be a cloud in that bottle. Bottle. Is mm -hmm. it empty? Is it empty? Nothing's in it, right? Little empty. magic. Okay, empty. So we're gonna take. You might not have this in your kitchen. You might have to send your mom and dad out for this. But you aren't watching the show, but we'll are. talk to them about it later. Yes. Uh, isopropanol. Mm -hmm, the good take, stuff. Yes. The good. A little whiff. No. Uh -uh. <laughs> don't do it, Glenn. You know what happened last time. Don't do it. We okay. don't do that here. So we're just gonna pour some. In the bottom. Perfect. That is that's a very scientific amount. Very Megan, scientific. No, Megan spilled. Oops. Glenn clean up. No. Oh. Okay, well, uh We leave it. We, we can leave clean. it. Okay. So then we're gonna take the bottle uh -huh. and spin it around to get the outside of it covered. Okay. Okay. I think it's covered. Okay. Then we're going to Oh no! That water bottle. Oh, it didn't actually go cloud. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, do there's a little cloud. Do you Glenn see the cloud? See it. Do you Glenn see the cloud? cloud? Glenn see Can cloud. the camera it's see not, the cloud? Can, can the, camera the camera see it? See it? That there's a cloud in there. It's hazy. If I do this, maybe, and we do. Wow! I'm wow. gonna need that cloud, Henry. In a bottle. Hi, Henry the Cloud. Bye, Henry the Bye, Cloud. Bye, Henry the Cloud. That was wonderful. Oh, you have a second experiment for us. I do. So that was just a quickie, fun thing you can do uh, that's 
rain cloud in your kitchen. No, uh, we're going to uh, put that's this. That's a Maddie B of the experiments. Where Glenn can't drink it. No Please worries. We'll put you. it over here. We'll put it over here. Okay. No drink. This no one, drink. Bad for you. No drink. drink. No drink. No drink. This one's a little bit more involved. Ooh, I like that. What are okay. we doing? Uh, this. Another uh, cloud. No, but same bottle idea. Uh, we are going to make um, elephant paste, but not. What? Not Grind up elephant, elephant to paste. paste. Yes. Can you grab the elephant and start Give me grinding? elephant. Okay. Grind elephant to paste. Okay. Hey! Well, hey! Hey! That's our friend. That's Floofy. Oh, no. Floofy the elephant. We don't hurt Floofy because it's a friend. We like Fluffy, our friend, for friend. Floofy, Floofy the elephant. All right, back to our science okay. experiment. Okay, um, so that's why I have it in a bucket because it's going to get a little messy. How messy? I'm not entirely sure. Due to scientific method and, um, and processes, I've kind of got it down, but it's also not exact measurement. So uh, food coloring? Some. Some, <laughs> a fair amount, you know. Do you want it darker? Do you want it lighter? You measure that stuff with your heart. Yeah. Food coloring should never be measured with a spoon or a number of drops. It should just be measured with your heart. You want yeah. it darker, lighter, that's... And as soon as your heart, heart says some, <laughs> <laughs> you nailed it. You nailed it. Okay, so we did that. What We did that. What's this thing? This is yeast. Just quick rise yeast you find in your kitchen, maybe in some bathrooms. Don't right. know. Why would it be in bathrooms? Ask your mom. I would like an explanation. <laughs> you can ask your mom Who later. Who isn't watching the show because we've banished them. All right. Okay. So this is just dry yeast. It's not opening at all. Apparently it's in bathrooms. You can ask your mom. I'm gonna I'm literally like 39 year old me later is gonna be like, Mom, why is there yeast in the bathroom? She's like, Who told you? Who told you our secret? Okay. Also, you might want to have scissors when you're doing this, just to cut packages or some you know, scissors, something, some scissors, kid safety scissors. Okay. Also gloves, because I'm green now. So we've got over measuring yeast. Mm. yeast. Cleanne is so bored of this. We have, I know, I'm, you know, this is why my kids don't want to do this with me. Uh, some soap. Measure that again with your heart. That's fine. That was some. That was some. Water and yeast. Okay. Can we fast forward? Water. We're gonna yeast. have to. Uh, yeah, we are. <laughs> Three, do, water, do, do. Yeast, We're gonna treat like stir. this is gonna be edited like the Maddie B date <laughs> clock. <laughs> clock. Okay. Hydrogen peroxide into <gasps> the cup. Don't drink. Don't drink. Glenn. Uh uh. This is a one Don't cup. Don't do cup, it. Though. No drink. Okay. Yeah. No this is the only drink. one where you no can lid. put Where's some. The lid? Okay. No drink. Also, Don't put some. Don't put some. This is like the measure in a measuring cup, but also with your heart because it's not quite at the line. Measure with your heart. Ooh, here we go. Okay, so mm. Oh, color. Okay, we got the color and everything now. You're going to want to maybe back up. I'm not sure how big this is going to be. I love when those instructions so, happen. Yeah. This better blow us up. It might. I don't know. But here Let's we find out. Go. Let's put it in the center. In the center. Oh. And <laughs> voila. Elephant wow. Yeast. But All that from the yeast that was in Grandma's bathroom. What do with that now? Yeah, well, uh, kind of okay, well, it makes a mess, but it also, it feels warm because of the chemical oh, sure. reaction. So if you feel it, it's warm. Ew, Glenn, you feel it. You can feel the bottle will be warm from the chemical reaction. And it's just kind of fun. A fun huh. visual chemical reaction you can make in the kitchen with your kids. It looks like parents, melted ice cream. It does. Don't eat it. Don't eat <laughs> it. <laughs> It's that, actually that was perfect. Glenn next question. He actually doesn't like melted ice cream, so it is perfect. But Glenn loved mint. Oh, that was very awesome. All right. Scientist Megan. Uh, she is a principal. She is a teacher. She is, what else are you? Physiotherapist. Oh, I don't get cocky, okay? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was your last thing, Nurse. okay? <laughs> no, nope, that's it. You only get three things. Did you find oh, all the lights? Ooh, hey, okay, oh, good. ooh, ee, ah. Pick them out. I don't want to send Guess the kids what? back with them. 
our ad this One week more. is from a little magic shop in the hood. Oh. Um, and I picked something up from there. Do you guys want to see a magic trick? Yes. Okay, this is a magic trick. Okay. <laughs> it's gone. Okay, Whoa. I swear it's gone. Now, this isn't very important. This is very important. Glenn, do you feel anything weird? <laughs> what is happening under your skirt? <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh. Watch this. Three, two, one. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, um, maybe scientist Megan should check where she keeps her keys. Oh. <laughs> the secondary Pop. spot. Yeah. Secondary spot. Boom! Wow. Magic. How do uh, you get in there? I, you guys, check this Magic. out. Well, while we're thinking about how that happens, let's listen to the ad for this lovely, mysterious device. Hey, you. Yes, you. You look like you're eight years and under. Boy, do we have something for you. It's Mr. Bloon's Magic Wiggly Woggly Woo. That's Mr. Bloon's Magical Wiggly Woggly Woo. What does it do? Well, it wiggly woggly woos. It wiggly woggly woos. You don't know what that means. Well, pick it up and give it a go. Wiggly Woggly will do the rest of the show. Yes, just like that. Just like that, you future eight year and under magician of the world. Now do you get it? Now do you get it? Great work. <laughs> That's Mr. Bloon's Magic Wiggly Woggly Woo. 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 Where'd it go, Megan? Where'd it I go? Don't know. Do you know where it went, Glenn? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 It tasted like regret. That was in Glenn Pants. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, do as I say, not as I do? Yes. Yeah. That's, I, that's probably your parents probably said to you that aren't watching the show, right? <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Hey, do you guys want to check out the news? With our friend Don, will I get this gross taste <laughs> out of my mouth? I'm joking. This is a horrible children's <laughs> show. Okay? Who decided this mess? Was it... This thing? <laughs> I don't know. Well, let's check out. Here's Dawn and a soul with the news. Hello, everybody, and it is after 9 o'clock, so you know what that means. Dawn is going to take it easy on everyone's ears. Dawn, no bad words. This is a kid's episode. You're going to keep it clean like we talked about, or it is your walking paper, sir. Everybody, Dawn and... This all. Hello, young adults. I'm Don, and all. And this is me on your side. Kids, have you ever wondered, are my parents secretly hiding candy from me? Well, the answer is yes, they absolutely are hiding candy from you. And I will tell you where, pretty much everywhere you have not looked. And I mean everywhere. So make sure you get out those little magnifying glasses, children, and you check every corner, every crevice, and every fissure in your hardwood floor. And yes, I know there's Cheerios in there, and yes, I know there's cockroaches, but just try not to worry about that right now. Focus on candy. Kids, have you ever just felt tired? You just want to relax on the couch? Well, now you know how your parents feel all the time, but there's a solution. Go to bed early. No, 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 no. I know what you're thinking. But listen, there's two benefits to this. Number one, you can throw a quiet little party in your room and your parents will be none the wiser, okay? And when all else fails, number two, wreak havoc while they're still sleeping in the morning. Everybody wins! Yeah! Kids, I know what you're thinking. I don't want to eat my vegetables. They taste awful. Well... I got a solution for you. Here's what you gotta do. It's called hide and seek. And what you do is you take these vegetables and you put them in all the places where your mom's been hiding the candy. You remember that? Yeah. Like the side cabinet where she keeps her neck massager. Yeah, well guess what? Broccoli, carrots, cauliflower. That's what you get 
We know what you're up to, Mom. She'll know what it means. Watchers and young furtherers of the world, this is Dawn. Thank you, and science bless. Um, hey. so, if you want one of these wonderful ditties, that ad will help you out. Um, ooh, let's move right along. This is actually very important. Uh, Keegan uh, has a friend that works at NASA. And Keegan pushed so hard for him to get on the show. And they're like, you know what? Let's get him on. Um, so this is Keegan's friend, Don Vanaganaganzi. Hi, Don. Hey. Nice to meet you. Uh, <clears throat> nice to meet you, too. Oh, so um, Don is specifically going to come on, and he is going to hit us with um, some space knowledge, perhaps, right? Yeah. Yeah, the space. Perfect. 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 Yeah. So just, uh, this is your your space. time to shine. Uh, anything that we need to know about, like, that we are young scholars. Ah. Uh, with, with wow. like, kids. Yeah. Um, space. Mm. Um, yeah. That's got a great grasp yep. of space. Yep. So, big. Space so, big. Yeah. Space has lots of explosions. Kaboom. They're really loud. Um, like you can hear them if you're whoa, inside. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. You you can you can hear loud noises in space. Yeah. No, 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 no. Like it's like you gotta cover your ears. That's why they wear the helmets. I heard otherwise. Well, but we'll move right on. We'll okay. move right on. Like I'm not gonna okay. argue with yeah. someone that works at NASA. I, Obviously, that'd be yeah. Silly. I okay. Why loud noises. You? I've heard otherwise, but yeah, yeah. loud noises. So in space. it's loud noises. Cool. Um and um. There's, there's ten planets. Ten. What? Whoa. Yep. Um, but some of them are bigger than this. Glenn, ten planets. Yeah, there's ten. Um, this is actually uh, one area that Glenn knows quite well. Wrong. Wrong. Yeah. Yeah. There, no. No. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. The, no. 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 I mean, yeah, There's more than ten, wait, ten wait, wait, stones wait. out in space. Uh, no. Whoa. Oh, God, oh, no. I just. I, okay. Whoa, whoa, Mr. NASA man. You, yeah. you come on here, and, and you're, you're giving us, like, false information, and then you drop the planet. Fake news. Then you drop the planet! No, no. When a planet, when a planet falls, it's called a meteorite. Whoa. Yep. That's what, that's... That's, that's why we, planet? we've only got ten left. Because they keep falling. Keegan? They huh. keep falling in. Where did you get this dude? Huh. And <laughs> this is... I don't think there's been a word out of your mouth that has been accurate. No, because here's the problem. It's a real problem. It's almost as bad. It's it's actually much worse than climate change. Looks like this is the problem. No, no. Is that the Cooper belt has come <laughs> loose. Okay. I, I, and gonna... the planets are falling right through. Halts, halts. You work at NASA. Yeah. Every day. NASA. Yeah. Doing work. Okay. Science work. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Science. See the glasses? Science work. So, so I'll tell you about my favorite planet. Is it the Beyonce planet? No, it's a. Uh, 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 uh. It, it's it got a, a ring around it. Ah! <laughs> he got no, it. No, it doesn't have a ring. It's you are a nuss. Mm. That's my favorite planet is the U R Anus. And it's it doesn't have a ring. I'm sorry, kids. I'm sorry. It doesn't. It, no, I, that I was a dirty so... telescope. Oh. There's been a lot of dirty telescopes. And as a matter of no, fact, sir, that you're looking through. He's a dirty telescope. A big dirty telescope. No, the, you're gonna come on here. The science you're gonna guy only had one eye. All of this misinformation. It's not. If you do not work at NASA. I do. I swear to God, I do. Oh, okay. Are you? Yeah. If I don't go in tomorrow, my boss is gonna fire me. Are you a cook there? No. Do you park their the scientists' cars? No. Do you clean their rooms? Oh, I think we nailed it. Did you see the eyebrows, Glenn? Janitor. Janitor. A Keegan. Custodian. Janitor. Custodian. Keegan, did, 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 uh, I'm Janitor. I what? I am a surface prep <laughs> technician. Thank you. Okay. Well, can can we just ask you one favor? Can yeah. you get off of the show, please? These eight year olds and under deserve better than this. Better than NASA. 
Uh, better, better than, than NASA your version of, yeah. better than your version of NASA. All right, Custodian. get out of here. Go, go, get, okay. got, but carry you know. on, wayward son. Carry on, wayward son. Oh. What are you doing? Drop my phone. Go. 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 I want to get, tell you get, about get, Callie's We comment. will get you back later what, what, what? to clean up the set. How about that? Glenn? Come, come back up. Come on here. You deserve better than... Okay, what? Well, he wanted me to clean the set. After so, the show! Get him out of here! Go! Get him out of here! I am so sick of this guy from NASA. That's his version of NASA. NASA. Okay? You know what? No, we're done. I actually had a very fun episode today. What do you think? Did you have fun? Tons. Tons of fun. Tons. Big fun. Boom! Well, eight-year-olds and under, um, your parents can turn it back around again. Um, they're allowed to be back in your lives. Um, today's been a lot. Um, NASA lied to you. Um, Carl, surprised? Oh, you missed that part. You'll have to watch the episode. Real talk. Real talk. It was impressive. Um, he's come a long way as a sock. He has upped his thread count. Feels it in his soul. His heart. And his shoes sole. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Oh, um, but what else? Uh, Cameron Hawkins, uh, Women in Rock and Roll, uh, Bob and Nestor. Oh, Potato Dog. Borschlag. That's what that dog's name is. Aw. It's a fucking cute dog. I'm sorry, I just love dogs. Eh? And it just showed on my face when I didn't mean it. Um, ooh. Uh, you still scared of Sarah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get it. She's scary. Um, but that's okay. Um, I had a very fun episode. I hope you guys did too. Uh, this has been the Pandemic Party Variety Show. And guess what, young furthers of the world? I hope you have a glorious, glorious day. Mwah. One, two, three, four! Thanks for watching the show! The Pandemic Party Variety Show! The Pandemic Party Variety Show! Warn there were at least nine planets. Is Pluto still a planet when you were young? You know I'm a human being, right? <laughs>